What up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Cultic Cube Draft. <coughs> Late night, shirtless Michael edition. For every dollar, Michael will lift his shirt one centimeter until it gets <laughs> all the way off. Nope. I don't think you want to get banned. But, Michael. Okay, I'm listening. Think about your fans. <laughs> Frank, help Mike set up his own channel, and you guys can have two channels you gain money from and fans of each other follow and watch both. You can host each other's channels, too. Yeah, I think you overestimate uh, the amount of uh, the amount of bandwidth there is for Twitch support <clears throat> in a, if for something like that. Mike can just be a shirtless Instagram model since it's not allowed on Twitch. Hmm. How about a Mike B OnlyFans account? Oh boy. <laughs> Are there any elves in here? No elves. Okay. No elves. If you 3L, I'll donate $20. Contingency plan. If you owe 3 I'll donate $20. Wow, that is quite... I, I feel like I'm incentivized. So that I'm, means you can't 2 I'm, I'm just going to 2 on. It's going to be... Yeah. I think Wolf Bar Island is pretty good. I'm going to try to set this up to be a Badger Elf Stip. We're going to find out. Oh, yeah. Get past... We get past the, the best Elf of them all. What? You're crazy. Wolf Bar is insane, dude. A, oh my god. <laughs> Hello, my love. <laughs> You're on stream right now. I'm what? I'm streaming so everyone can hear this conversation that we're having. <laughs> it's, it's okay. You're not on speakerphone or anything. They can just hear me. They, they can't hear her. Okay. Are you okay? Uh, everyone, Katie says hi. She had to sew a foot back together, which is why she's leaving work at 6.45. Oh, jeez. Everyone's saying hi. Speakerphone, Katie stream. Hi, Katie. Hi, Mean Mugger. Hi, Katie. Hey, Katie. We can totally hear her. Howdy, Katie. I can hear her. So, oh, that, I guess they can hear you. I guess the mics are sensitive enough. Someone said, hi, Katie. How's the how's them turnips? She missed she missed Miss Daisy on Sunday. She, she's really upset about it. <laughs> she's devastated. Michael heard that and laughed. Oh God, she, she's on un, she's undecided about how it has affected her. It's like missing water, right? We're playing some cube draft and. We're trying to draft some elves, but it's not the third. Now we're on the fourth pick, and there's no elves here, so. We did get two elves so far, though. <sighs> it's true, but there's no green cards in this pack, so I don't know what to do now. Maybe. There is a Gideon. That's what I was leaning to. <laughs> and then lose. I'm going to take this Gideon. I think it's probably the best course of action here, based on our options. <clears throat> It's the four mana one. It's the one that makes an emblem or makes two twos. Oh, I don't like it. Okay. She doesn't like this Gideon. <clears throat> okay, well, okay, I'm glad. I'll try to get. I'll 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 chat with you on Messenger when you get when you get a chance. Okay, I love you. All right, I love you. All right. Bye. Okay. Beast attack, Fable Passage, Marsh Flats. Probably Fable. I hate it because it's like it just it's just a shitty evolving wilds until turn four. Yeah, but after that it's really good. Oh, Badger said Gideon too. That's good. Now nah, I feel better. I'm just taking Beast Attack. Oh, Resto seems good for this. Five mana for a four four flashback. I guess that's not the worst. That's two four fours, Michael. Oh, Council's Judgment. All oh, right. You have to invest twice. Well, yeah. You're spending five mana for two. Oh, Ronus. That's an Elf God, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Yeah, but a 4-4 turns this guy. Shut up, Michael. No. Shut up! No! That's not what the people want, Franklin. Shut up, Michael! That's a bad effect. Yeah, this one's good. 
You don't know what this card does? No. It's card card. Look at the top. <coughs> it's all right. It's real good. It's all right. It's very good. It's okay. <laughs> I hate him. I'm like, when does Katie and Frank officially adopt you? Wow. Well, you see, guys? Soon. I got an email that said, sign up for the Artifact Beta 2.0. And I was like, oh, well. I don't know, man. I should have just stopped here first. <laughs> Hello, my love. Oh, man. Good times. Thank you. Oh, Johnny Magic. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Katie, what's your stress level, my dear? On a scale of 14 to 37,000. My name is Ronus. Rock, paper, scissors. You and the birthday boy play rock, paper, scissors for each pick. Keep the pick secret for some spice. What? That's that's insane. I don't think we'll have time to do that. I feel like that is going to be really time consuming per pick. Because we have to pick the card. All right, it's, we can do best of one, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if we can really hide the picks either. Yeah, I, yeah we can. I, I, No, wait. Do you mean hide the picks like before we... Solid 19k. Well, that's in the middle, though. That's good. Oh, I guess we'll take this. What about this? Instead of blind picks, we just each had to pick a different card. Like, we can't both pick the same card. Well, do you mean hide the picks after we pick them? Or like you just I think you just I think he just means I don't tell you what I'm picking. I just select oh, my just card. Oh, rock paper scissors and whoever wins picks. Well, isn't that kind of the same though? Isn't that this? That's just alternating. That's just alternating picks, right? Unless I win them all, buddy. Got an elf. You'll never win them all. Nineteen K is actually lower than half, right? Maybe. Just record the outcomes before the draft. <laughs> Solid. <sighs> Vanilla. Top notes. Cream. Windswept Heath is very, very good. It's probably better than Elf Fauna Shaman. It is an elf, though. Right, but I think we need fixing, too. I don't think this is a... Uh, that one might table. It might, actually. I don't think it's that good. I thought you said Alf Draft? Wow. Well, there's not, there's not enough cats in the, in the cube to do an Alf Draft. <coughs> I guess we could actually play Rock, Paper, Scissors 45 times before the draft. Can't win with more than ten cards in your library. Yikes! All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this. This is not an elf, but it, it kind of does a good elf impression. I think it's just once upon a time. Oh, Savannah's real good too. I kind of want the Savannah to be honest. Savannah. Like we have double white, double white, double green, triple green. Turn no elves. You can take it. Yeah, I agree with Badger. Land again. Shut up and take like my this money. Fat boy. <clears throat> Ace S. Popple, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, I like Ugin actually. Ugin's much better than Apex Altasaur. Elves came from dinosaurs? Is that true? Is that real? Huh. I, think, I think we're going to need a fact check on this one, my dude. Forest Island, why couldn't you be the Abzan one? This actually gets both Savannah and Scattered Grove. Might be worth it. It's pretty good. We have a lot of four drops, so I don't think either of these are. This, she is an elf, right? Look at her ears, man. She an elf. She an elf. All right, we'll take Nisa Nisario. There's been a murder in Savannah. And we didn't have to pass a, what do you call it? This one's good. This one's good. Um, we didn't even have to... Oh, this is a two-drop. We didn't have to... Oh, yes. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. 
We didn't even have to. Oh, it's a human too. Oh, that's weird. That makes me feel worse. Sphinx's revelation is it's what an I was going to say. Elf. It is an honor. It does it, the same thing all the other. It is an honorary elf. Michael Bay, Michael Kane. I got Sarah the Benevolent. Creatures control flying. Plus some, plus some. We don't know creatures are flying. So this is basically just going to be like a uh, four four maker. Yeah, you can take one of these. Flicker Wisp could be good. Not right now, right? I guess Sarah's probably fine. It makes four fours. Oh, Fauna Shaman came back. No elf left behind. A say as Pobble. <laughs> what? Hey, there's the. Uh, that shit's hilarious. The clip. Oh, Once Upon a Time came back. That's nice. Are you serious? People don't respect that free card. They don't, man. Put some. What the hell is that? Amazon uh, Alexa, what are my notifications? Shopping. You'll subscribe and save order and shipping soon. You can make changes until May 27th. Oh, okay. Amazon subscribe and save page. All right. Okay. I don't think I need this yet. I think I can skip this one. I think this is big dog food. Big dog. You don't. Are you in the pocket of big dog food? <sighs> Too much. Skip it. And skip it. Trumpeting man, trumpeting man, doing the things of a trumpeting man. What's he like? It's not important. Trumpeting man. Is he a rock or is he a trumpet? Does he live with Michael B? <coughs> Ooh, Woodfall Boy. <clears throat> Woodfall boy? I like rampant growth here. I'm a rampant growth man. You like Tyga? Badger, we don't have any red cards. You like rampant growth? I mean, I, I, I like this guy a lot. I just don't know if we have enough ramp for it just yet. Also, that guy might come back. I'm not the one draft. Hey, buddy. Listen. Actually, Woodfall Prime is probably more likely to come back than Rampant Growth, maybe? Yeah, Rampant Growth is pretty high on people's picks, I would say. I like Rampant Growth. Oh. Library? Yeah, Library for sure. Plus, I like going from 2 to 4 because we have a lot of 4 drops. I think Gem Razor is actually pretty good. Yeah, making our 1-1s one later on 4-4. Four yeah. Piece. Plus, it has the uh, unique ability of killing an artifact or an enchantment, which is very, very nice. It's very nice. I'm going to take this Garrick and hope that we hit a... A way to cast it? Yeah. Cast it as a man. <coughs> Gary! Key to the city? I don't think this is a key to the city deck. I don't think it's a Machaeus or a Herald of Anafenza deck either. Kind of slow. You think like Machaeus? Maybe Machaeus is good. Fuck it. Stay on color. That guy's Gucci. He's a werewolf. You gotta take the car. What, the car? Mm -hmm. Why would I take this? Just vroom vroom. Oh, that's a good answer, I guess. Oh, Riss? That's like the elf leader. There's also another elf in the back. <clears throat> I mean, I think Riss is better, right? I mean, we have a 10 mana card or a 9 mana card. We don't have to play it, though. That's true. Plus, Riss gives you things to do with your mana. Come on, man. Might can elves drive cars? Two of them can. They have to drive in pairs for safety. <laughs> That's true. Worldly Tutor. Oh, uh, it's a Sylvan Tutor. Same thing. Actually, it's, it's much, not. It's a sorcery. It's much worse, actually. Yeah, it's a sorcery. Also, we don't have any bombs yet to really get. I kind of like just play tabs. Is pretty decent. Yeah, I think this card's actually real good. Plus, it's just three, four float boy. Oh, two, three. That's worse. What's that going to do? This card's real good. 
Oh, yeah, it seems to And it gives your dudes vigilance. Yeah, that Johnny's great. Troll ascetic came back, huh? That guy seems hard to handle. Gary? Or Stone Coil. Hmm. Stone Coil's good. Mm. Gary's aight. It's 28 cards. You got Beast Attack. Really? Do you want? You want to keep? No, I'm kidding. That card's <laughs> terrible. I was like, what? Really? <clears throat> you in for Beast Attack? I like Hunter's softness. He's a soft boy. That was really random. Because I was like, is he here? Yeah, he's right here. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know. He's on my foot. God, he's been really... Oh, that's real cute. What does Beast Attack do? It's five mana to create a 4-4, four, four, and you can flash it back for five mana to create another 4-4. Four, four. So... Kind of an outdated card. I just asked Katie, what do I eat? I'm like, what do I have for, for dinner? And she's like, snacks, so many feet of fruit by the foot. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't think this is going to really do it for me. I don't even have fruit by the foot right now. Duskwatch is kind of meh. Yeah, I think Duskwatch is kind of trash. I'm so rude, you guys. He has a family. How do you know that? Because I talked to him once. You talked to him one time? Yeah. How do you know his family's even still alive? What if his family was murdered? Well, I can't know that. Yeah. But I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, okay? So Stone Coil? I don't know. That guy seems like a good mana dump. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, poop jokes. I want to take Vivian's Arcbow out again. It's not like... I thought it was your favorite. I think it's good. I think it's good in deck where you're trying to hit specific creatures. Mike, are you his family? In a way. Oh, in a way. Something in the way. Okay, what's McKay's ability exactly? Uh, just put all your counters on the deeds? Put a 1-1 one, one counter on him or put all, put a one, one, remove a 1-1 one, one counter and put it on uh, every creature. Good. Yeah, right? Like if we're going wide. I was what about Sarah the Benevolent? She makes a 4 4 flyer. Like, yeah, with that might vigilance. be good enough. I mean, and then you plus her once and then you could do it again. Like, How often are we triggering Rose? I mean, pretty regularly. This is a 4 4. This is a 4 4. This could be a 4 4. That's a, easily a 4 4. This makes 4 4s. Uh, Gem Razor is a 4 4. I mean, putting a counter on all our 3 3s, which we have two ways to do, is good because that makes these. All relevant. This makes an emblem. This makes a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. I mean, I think we've got a bunch of ways to do it. Just checking. I'm just a chicken. 116 lands. Good. 1641. <sighs> hmm. 14 creatures. What does the second part of the hippo card do? Uh, draw a card for each creature with power three or greater you control. It's very good. Is Resto doing anything great here? Not really, actually. Yeah, it's a three, four flyer, though. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like, creatures you control flying at plus one, plus one. Like, I don't know. It's not great, but... It's a surprise threat. Yeah. I feel like there's something that might be weaker than that, that's all. What does Trump Pearling Herd do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what'd you say? Trumpeting Herd. <laughs> Trump a Pearling? Yeah. It just makes a 3-3 three, three, and then makes another 3-3 three, three for 4. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Do you miss the show Fraggle Rock? Fraggle Rock was one of my favorite shows as a kid, yes. I love all of Jim Henson. I don't think I've ever seen Fraggle Rock. You've never seen Fraggle Rock? I don't think so, man. Holy shit. Does, does your mother ever feel bad that she never gave you a childhood? <laughs> Okay, just because I didn't watch that one show. Uh, it was a pretty... Oh, God. I think I'm just take the Stone Coil out for now. Like, we already have an X spell. Like, Micaeus does basically the same thing. But yeah, but he's... like, Protection from Multicolored? Trample? Reach? That's great. I know, you're right. It's good. I would say Angel's worse than that if we're going to cut one. All right, well, we're just going to play 16 lands then. How does that sound? I'm always a fan of 16. Well, we did 16 last time. 8, 4. We got 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 8 versus 12. We'll go down 1. No. Maybe. 
Now we also have Avacyn's Pilgrim. I like it. See you later, Danny. Have a good night. Danny, have a good night, buddy. Cut Ronus? You're out of you're out of your mind. Yeah, we went over why he's good. <clears throat> Michael, what do you feel like eating, my dude? Something delicious. Well, that's good. It wrecks me like no other Michaels. I imagine you probably pizza it out. Yes. Okay. How are you not? Well, I meant like not Little Caesars, like Lucky Slice or something. What's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> yeah, what's the difference? Those Completely the different flavors. The same. I would rather have Little Caesars, to be honest with you. Damn. Lucky Slice has been delivering for me recently. It's like suboptimal pies or something? It reminds me of more like West Shore all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. I haven't had it in a while, so I couldn't say. West Shore's got, like, weird cheese. I guess we just get another white here. And you're such a fan of Lucky Slice, too. The one in Ogden, I think, was better. And that just, like, makes you not want to eat the one here? Or it's just not worth the up in price? The one here doesn't taste like the kind of pizza that I'm loving. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's just I really slam like that they're thing. like. The one with the olives on it, though. The Green Goddess or whatever. I like the one with the olives on it. But that's not really pizza, right? I mean, it's pizza. Yes, it's pizza. But it's like not... <laughs> oh, wow. Force of negation, then. Huh? Not the pizza you're looking for, though. It's not the pizza you're looking for. What is this clip? This is the one the one you just said. Oh. What does Trump of Pearling heard do? Trump of Pearling! <laughs> <laughs> what does Trump of Pearling heard do? <laughs> Trump a Perlinger. I was like, what are you trying to say here? Trump a Perling herd and I might be worried. Sorry, man. Whole Caesars is just it's so value. You get two meals for ten dollars basically. Or like twelve bucks or whatever. Two meals for ten dollars. I guess we'll just play this guy. Frank will have stir fry and Mike will have a slice of pumpkin pie and a sanka. I don't know what sanka is. Nope. You know what Sanka is? Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? Don't you? No, that's not no. <laughs> Don't you want it, Michael? A Sanka? <laughs> what about Ty? <sighs> I'll take that as a no. No, Ty was one of my one of my choices. I'm always down for time. Are you? Jack Talk right, Ty. This is just so good. Jack Talk Ty real good. <laughs> What's so good? Just their fried rice. It's you, amazing. Did you marry it? Even though they put them big ass tomatoes in there? Dude, it's worth it. It's <laughs> it's like their fried rice is on such a different level. Like it might be the best fried rice I've ever had. Are you serious? Yes, it's it's that good. Are you serious? Are you for real? Yes, Franklin. You don't have to yell, Michael. I wasn't yelling. Nope, here we go. Counter for two, right? Snap. You got it. You're gonna try to try anything it. Have a jump in and your brain stop thinking. Was it Mike B with the mic on? Was it my Mike B? And then you listen to the trash can. Do you like that song I sang? What protein do you like leak the best in fried rice? I like <laughs> chicken the best. Chicken is the best. Sammy, that was that was that sentence was rough, buddy. Shrimp fried <clears throat> rice is good. I just never like to pay the premium for shrimp. Although one time they accidentally gave me shrimp and I was like, not bad. I just don't like it to take the tails off though. Unfortunately, this is multi-kicker green, so we can only make two extra guys. I kind of just want a stony boy here. I prefer beef in my fried rice, but the problem is they almost always... It's always never great quality beef, so it's usually not worth it. I usually just get tofu and everything. Because then I don't have to worry about the quality of the meat. I can just be like, 
Tofu me. Standard, I'll just get chicken because it's cheapest. Yeah, except the last time they made they used all like dark meat pieces. That only happened like one just... time for me. Though. Yeah, but I don't even take that risk. Like I'm never gonna. No, like, I don't blame I don't, you. Plus, I don't you, roll the dice on it. You like tofu anyway, so it's fine yeah. for you. It'd be. I think it'd be weird in fried rice though. Tofu. I think you'd be weird in America. <laughs> Got him. They have one card in hand. So do we, but ours is gonna be good. We're coming to America. I always forget to ask for soy sauce though. Soy sauce. Uh-huh. So we got one, two. We're gonna multi kick for three. Is that right? One, two, three. Yeah, yo. Yep. Make sure you draw your counter spell. Counter spell. They didn't draw their counter spell. I got wolves all day. That's a gidgeon in the kitchen. A gidgeon in the kitchen. That's right, boy. That's a Moo Yanling in the Boo Slanling. Man, this card has been great. Like, making all their dudes come in to play tapped is real good. Disgusting. Something good. Absolute trash. Okay. Attack all at you, and this guy can stay home today. Skip it up, skip it up. You stay home today, but not tomorrow. That's correct. Don't come back tomorrow. I hope they forget this guy has trample. Wait, what? They didn't make an emblem, right? Not that I think they're dead if they block this way. Oh, they made the rid of the damage from this. Oh, that's that's better. <clears throat> I didn't I didn't see that they did that. What time is high place close? Eight thirty or eight forty five, something like that. Interesting. I remember Google was correct last time. Let me double check. <sighs> yep, Monster Mentor is a real card. <laughs> course. Eight forty-five. Oh, fucking course. My name is Ronus. Actually, Ronus just wins us the game, right? Seems so. good. My name is Ronus. <laughs> Actually, it probably doesn't win us the game because they can just go block, block. But... Why didn't you attack? Oh, it's an 0-3. Well, mm. you should have still attacked with it, right? Why? Because of the flyer dude, the 0-3. Because the... What about... Yeah, why? Doesn't it pump him? Right, but... I'm probably just going to... Kill multiple of these things. <clears throat> it's 
So you can either kill both of these or this one three three. Probably better to get the two guys off the board. Oh. Ronus doesn't do what I thought I did. So now they take one and next turn they're dead with the bird so they're probably going to make an emblem here or just oko this into a 3-3 thank you oh the phenom thanks so much for the reset buddy really appreciate it boy their whole deck is just cantrips right like telling time sleight of hand serum visions yeah I don't care just f6 like I don't have any plays here They got food, so they can go to five. I got food to show me the way. I feel like if they made an emblem, we just have like no shot, right? Shut up. Oh, they just do this. Do this again. All right. They got to turn this into an elk. Oh, they just made a food. Interesting. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I just pump this three times? Sounds right. Does that work that way? This doesn't have flying anymore. Yeah, I'm still forcing to block with a bunch of stuff, though. I mean, maybe. <clears throat> but then we lose it, so it's like... How many times can you pump it? Three. This becomes a 6-3, and they can just literally block with this. It's pretty bad. <sighs> Turns out when you're just playing against three Planeswalkers... It's pretty bad. Too bad Ronus itself doesn't have trample. It's <sighs> really frustrating. Like, they just make an emblem next turn. Sure. I just don't care enough. So we'd cycle this, draw wrists. Yep, that's not going to do anything. Cool. This hits Planeswalkers. Definitely bring that in. This guy actually seems decent against them. <clears throat> the chaos seems a little too slow. Forty-one sixteen lands, living on the edge. Keep it. Turn one wrist and a turn two library. Seems good. See if you got that packed. <sighs> nope, probably just spell pierce. <clears throat> also, I like gem razor on, on wrists. Oh, just resolved. Surprising. I'm probably going to keep one of these. Put on top. Pay the life to keep that dude. Hmm. I 
wonder if they just play Snapcaster and block. Guess not. Cool. Thank you. Zimini Pot, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hmm. Just gonna pay. I'm just gonna draw two cards a turn for as long as I can. I have every counter spell in the cube, so you don't get to resolve any spells. My username is based off my favorite Sith Lord. It's good times. Choose a card. You can have Island. Got him. Well, you know, you got to take your small victories when you can. Uh, use Sylvan Library's ability? Sure. Okay. I thought you said you were always going to draw two cards. Well, I... Shut up. Liar! Liar! So, either you make that a 4-4, four, four, or you could, like, play Pilgrim and make a Duder. Well, I could do both. Over. Ooga chuck. Ooga, ooga, ooga chuck. Play that dude. <laughs> Deer Kraken or Mana Leak? Five, six. They're both not great. <laughs> you have Mana Leak. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is just a cool. Why the cube needs like seven versions of this card is yeah there's a blue green ring banishing light that there's council of judgment oh that's nice but they have mana leak that we gave them so i guess we should have given them the other card don't i feel silly now one two three four five six seven so we can just play this guy for four and that's pretty unexciting I guess we can just wait till next turn to play this. Big old boat kill. Yeah, let's just tick Karn down to three and then pass, I guess. Under the sea. Can we talk about being under the sea for a talk second? about it. What would you like to know? You can have an island. Just going to keep giving you lands, my dude. Some of these is pretty good. Which one do you want to use as bait? Well, I'm just going to play the boat. If you like pina coladas. And that's the end of the fun I've had. All right. Counterspell dot deck can go fuck himself, and uh, we can try to win rounds two and three. So that's good. That was good times. Check that clip. I got a big ass boat <laughs> coming on down to kill you. 
I dropped that boat in the water and it went splash. I killed that man. <laughs> What's that from? Killed that man. I literally just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a Mike B original. <laughs> and it killed that man. It did kill that man. I was like, man. God damn, this is a violent story, Mike. I was really just going to say that boat, lightning bolt, but I'm like, no, I could do that. And it went splash. It killed that man. <laughs> Was that fun? I don't think so. Thank you. I don't think it was. Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh, oh, man. It is tempting. You got that free video. I like it. And we got an elf. We only got to hit one land. And then we, and then we got to hit another one. That's it. <laughs> Music Manly. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Are you thinking about the planes for a second? No, I was just looking at all my options, man. No, you wanted that planes. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Shut talk. up. Wow. Well. Shut up, Meg. Oh, who's the best? So good at this game. You say that now until we get crushed. Shut up, Michael. But. Oh, making that, making that, making that mouth, mouth it up every day. Oh, we should have, we should have attacked first in case they had like Snapcaster, but I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. Oh man, we get to Gem Razor. Oh, we could just play that. That might be better. Play and pump, play and pump. Oh, you pump first, right? Taxi, what they do? No, it's it's harder to it, it's harder to pump pump this first before we play it because it's not in play yet. No, I thought I was thinking something else. What is what else gets pumped? Okay, it's not a pump; it's a generate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'd, I'd attack when they can just block with their first striker. That seems bad to me. Yeah, but you regenerate. Oh, wow. So I waste two mana just to get nothing out of it? When their creature die? No. First strike deals damage. It regenerates and removes this from combat. Oh, yeah. Forgot to remove from combat. Oh, God. He would have just had me kill my own dude. <laughs> A pro play. It would have been good, man. Is that dude some budget Thrun? Hey, man. Troll He's the original. Troll aesthetics, though. There'd be no the Thrun without no Troll aesthetic. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. How's the commander deck you were working Bro. on? Uh, I only have like six cards for it. It's going to be a while. Ten if you count the lands. It's going to be a while. The Since... non-basic lands anyway. Actually. Plus like you can't really play commander right now in real life. Which is the part I like can't. about it. <coughs> Jim raise my hand. Take me by the hand. Counter spell man. Cool. Yep. Never, never don't have those. Can we not play against counter spells yep. for five fucking minutes? The answer is no. The answer is no. Oh, good. Another monastery mentor deck. Is this the same opponent? I can't tell. Like, do they just all have f ridiculous mana bases, four color mana bases, and monastery mentor counter spells? I can't actually. I'm having a hard time uh, differentiating between the strategies. Land? Thank you. Frank, remember that time your opponent didn't have counter spell? Me neither. I don't. It's never happened. Yeah, I don't really want to spend money on Commander right now. 
since I'm moving. As soon as you're responsible. And you can't play it, so what's the fucking point? Right. Well, you're saying you can, like, build it now so it's ready to go, but... Can't you just build it then and it'll be ready to go? Like, it really takes just two days to ship. You're right, though. Oh, look, they had a they had a one-mana removal spell for my guy. Fascinating. I thought Wicked Wolf made one food. Did it not make a food? card sucks dang <sighs> yeah well They have two cards. Do we think one is going to be a removal spell? JK, it's always a removal spell. K R A F T. And by rule, I meant I meant counter spell. They're just choosing your, their crypto command modes right now. <laughs> oh, man. One fucking blue mana and they're just double countering us. Super cool, dude. Super cool. Nope. Can't pay three. Thanks for asking, though. These have been miserable matches, dude. Yeah, they've been really rough. This they, key was... I'm going to be honest. Like The Decker key was really fun because it had a lot of high-power cards. This cube is not nearly as fun. It feels like there's a lot of high power threats and all the answers are kind of bad. Like, I feel like I'm consistently losing to like really overpowered planeswalkers, like three mana planeswalkers that you just can't deal with. Or cards like Monastery Mentor and Infinite Counter Spells. Like, it's really weird. Yeah, it's got a really like randomly really, like half subpar cards for archetypes. Hunter's having a have a little stretch here. You gonna counter this too with your one blue mana? No. Well, I mean, feed is actually very good. We have one, two, three, four, five next turn. It's not bad. It won't resolve. I mean, if they didn't counter Sarah or this, they don't have a counter spell in hand. They'll draw it. <laughs> They'll draw it. Also, all their plays get to make them more tokens. Yep. What do they even get rid of here? Sarah? Sure. That's fine. <coughs> I mean, we're not in bad shape right now. Like, we have Angel to attack them. What? What is this? Convoking? Convoke. Excellent. Yeah, of course. It's the, uh, the, the fourth effect like this in their deck. Because there's fucking infinite. Of them like, it's just so weird to have, like, so many copies of this card, right? I don't understand, like, the redundancy in cubes when you have, like, five of the same card. Like, it just seems weird. It just makes the white deck, like, have way too many options. It just makes the whole point of a cube where, like, you have to have unique choices, like, one of everything, to be, like, not as good. This is interesting. Double block here. I guess I'll take nine. How big is the cube? Not sure. It's 540. They're all 540. Every cube of Magic Online is going to be 540.
Well, we still get to draw three. Now they make my cube. It's going to be 420, 69. That's, that's 40,000 cards, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> Good times <coughs> never, Michael, beat. What deck are you playing? Oh, the O-Ring deck? Oh, I like getting rid of Banishing Light here, I guess. Yeah, make another 4-4. Four, four. The irony that the creator of this cube wrote an article essentially bashing all the other cubes and their cube is actually the worst. I've not read that article, but that would be funny. So they have no cards and we have no cards. I made this cube. Uh, dude named Cultic Cube on YouTube. Or the Cultic Cube, something like that. That's not his name, though. His name isn't Cultic Cube. <laughs> yeah, that's how you can find him easily, right? We're done. Can't talk to you anymore. Our friendship has been null and void. Okay. All right. See, the problem is, like, we won this game, right? So you could be like, well, you were just complaining about losing, but then you won. But the point is, like, I well, I, I want to, right, I want to have fun on my way to winning. Like, I want to feel like I'm in the game. I want to feel like I'm having interactive plays. Like, even if you have, like... We basically just won because they ran out of gas, like... Right. And we had a flyer you couldn't answer. I guess we're just... I think we're fine. I don't think we're bringing anything in here. Is Trumpet Eclipse that I actually... Maybe Angel's worth it because it's like a flyer. And we don't see I think Oko's fine in the Vintage Cube. I really do because you can do things way before. The problem is if you're playing a fair cube like this where you're playing one drop, two drop, three drop. Um, yeah, Oko's kind of only okay because... Because Vintage Cube, you can do things so quicker, right? Yeah. Like if I'm going turn three B Blightsteel Colossus or like uh, Inkwell Leviathan and you play an Oko, it's not nearly as impressive. But like if I'm just playing like turned three you know kunjali kunjali sunwing and you go turn three oko and you turn my guy into a three three and then i never get to actually like deal with your oko again like standard or <laughs> limited for christ's sake funny enough oko would actually be really good against the blightstone colossus right <laughs> but i know what you mean like you can do stuff more powerful and faster right so it's a more even playing field like every deck is capable of doing the same things that oko does I feel like I should just have this boat in here. I like Angel too. They don't seem to have a way to deal with flyers very efficiently. <coughs> this seems like a weird cube with a lot of really weird choices. I mean, like he definitely sold it as being like a mid-range cube where it was like, okay, you just want to play like one drops, two drops, three drops, and the max of your curve should be five. But like... Doesn't really seem to be the case. I don't know, man. Magic's weird. I like it. Yeah, that's like every time I play this cube, it's been against control decks that have it all every match. And the thing is, like, there's just so much removal and counter spells. Like, it's unreal. Oh, still cast it. Ooh, Ronis? Rony Boney? Rony Boney. The Ronest of the Bones. Rony Patoni, give me the Scromboli. Scromboli? Mm -hmm. Not only does that not rhyme any more than Stromboli, it's not even a food. Well, you clearly haven't had my Scromboli. I don't ever want to have your Scromboli. It's a, it's a Stromboli, but 
Is that a scrotum and a stromboli mixed? No. Disgusting, Frank. Well, I'm sorry, it's buddy. It's a stromboli with scrambled eggs in it. Wouldn't that be a scramboli? No. Huh. I coined the name. You can't change it. Why not? Because I said so. Why not? <laughs> because I said so. I'm the law. Were you Judge Dredd? That was the, yeah, that was the point. I mean, there's no way this resolves, so we just gotta, just gotta, let's play the, we'll play the game in such a way that our first three or so cards are discarded, right? Like, that's just how we have to play the game. How does that guy make a toki? You tap him. Okay. And three mana. Maybe it's better to just do that. Like, just make one ones while they don't do anything? I don't know, it just seems, it doesn't seem great. Well, it kind of like forces them to act first. How are you going to act? first yeah i'm doing it now because i'm not going to throw another thing into a counter spell if they want to also we, we sh I, I was t so tempted to get my land off of the one spot of time because i was like what if we don't hit a fourth land i was like no way we got like three turns yep cool and then they play something like that that's just absolutely way more efficient at making tokens well yeah now they're just going to play a two mana um counter spell yeah so Papa Gorlami original. <laughs> yep. Clearly. Yeah. I guess we'll just play this guy. I mean, I guess it's just like, what card do you want to get countered? This is the one I choose. <sighs> is this, this is the same deck we played against round one, right? It's annoying because with like, a bunch of mentors and like shitty counter spells. This, how many times have we played against this archetype? Like the all counter spells deck, like it's happened a lot, right? Not even just today. It's just not fun. Mm. <sighs> Maybe a green deck is just bad. I don't know. Well, then why do you have green in the fucking cube? Yeah, fair. Like... Sure, my elf for your monk seems fine. <laughs> oh lord! I found uh, what a card by the guy who made the cube. He he comes across like an idiot. I'm gonna concede this game. Okay, let's not let's not insult people. Like that's yeah, not. That's a little rough. Fucking dream trawler. Jesus. Maskovic, thanks for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Um <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Alright. It's whatever. No, in the video he also mentioned like the the green mid range deck. Yeah. Like like a bunch. Like you focus on aggro control and the green mid range deck. I strongly disagree with the uh, points earned in the article made. That's fair. I'm actually going to hold this because we have Sylvan Library and I think it's just much better in the later game when we're able to like get rid of some redundant cards some that we don't want to yeah, keep that's right. A good point. We don't really need a land or a creature technically right now, so. Basically, the green mid-range decks are a trap. It does kind of feel that way. Well, then they shouldn't be supported in the cube, right? Like, I don't believe that anything should be a fucking trap in your cube. Like, I, like as soon as I find cards that are traps and, like, no one wants to build around them or play them or draft them, like, just I just take them out. Them out because that's not the, the whole point of the cube is for people to have fun. Like, I never want to be like, oh, dang, I drafted the archetype that can never win. What a trap. Like, it's just not, that's not fun. You can still call insult Mike, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if you're just a natural born shitbird, like, don't yeah don't don't worry about that i'm gonna put you on top and i'm gonna steal both of you guys i don't understand that sentence what sentence 
we can still call insult Mike, right? I, I, I believe that they're just saying we can still insult Mike. Oh, yeah, that's fair. You can do that. I don't give a shit. <laughs> See, but like once I'm on the play and I can actually get a bunch of mana elves down so that they're, they're condescend and they're complicate and they're syncopate, all the spells that require me to have more mana, once I can get around those, like I feel like I'm just going to resolve everything. Right, like next turn, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. I can play this for four and still have two up, which plays around condescend, complicate, and syncopate. Right, so don't lawyer my English. I'm like, hey man, if you're gonna insult me, I'll do all the lawyering I want. The what? All the what? The lawyering. Hmm. Oh, we're just going to get Wicked Wolf and kill this thing, right? Yeah, that seems great. They also only included one greedy card that is actually good against control, a.k.a. Carnage Tyrant. And the problem with Tyrant is, like, you still need six mana to get there, right? Like Maybe you do. Um, We're just going to take this. Oh, shit, I did not want to pay four life there, but I'm not going to complain about it either, so. I don't think it's going to matter that much. The article author claims there are no traps in the cube. So we know there's an Arid Mesa on the top. I mean, if they want a Wrath, we do have Troll Aesthetic, so that's fine. Yeah, we get that regen. That ain't a Wrath. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. This is the same deck we played against last round, is it not? Ponder, Preordain, Sleight of Hand, Telling Time. Like, it's just literally a deck with mono counter spells, one Monastery Mentor, and a bunch of cantrips. Like, it's the same deck. I yeah, feel like this is much. just four four matches with the same deck. It's really wild, dude. Can't you just not wait for round three? <laughs> I can't tell if I can't wait because it might be different and that's exciting or because it's just going to be the fucking same. I can't tell. It's going to be the same. <laughs> What time should we order that, that Thai food? Uh, it's probably seem. Jack Talk Thai. <laughs> Jack Talk Thai, real good. I'll go get it. Because the stupid delivery thing doesn't work. Oh, let's put you back. You know what you want? No. I'll never tell. I guess you don't get food then. Maybe you don't. Oh, they don't even have blue up right now? That's fascinating. Well, this Wrath and me can't regenerate. Oh, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> it's actual Wrath. Well, that's unfortunate. I think if it was con consistence, uh, conscious or subconscious on the creator's part, but the cube is definitely skewed towards control. Sure feels that way. Show me that might be again. I mean, we're hoping for no wrath, I guess. But if they wrath, we still have Sarah and Sylvan Library. So, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Cool. The one turn I take down the, the shields. <sighs> oh. Oh. Interesting. Do I just do I just take do I just pay eight? Oh yeah, for sure I pay eight because we can just play the we can just gain three with the Ajani. Yeah, that seems worth it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't have force of negation, I guess. Sweet. Alright, I didn't. Alright. You see a battleship? Uh yeah, you can crew it, which is good. Crew it to the limit. Bam, 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 bam. This gaining three a turn is real good. It means every other turn I can just get a free card and gain two life. Yarp. See, now our opponent has to deal with multiple multiple planeswalkers, which is just really hard to do in this cube. The thing is, like, because you're playing fair mid rangey games, right? So once your opponent gets multiple planeswalkers, there's no, like, I can't combo off and I can't sneak attack. I can't inkwa Leviathan. Like, you have to deal with the, with the, with the planeswalkers. Uh, because it's like a mid-range environment. It's like more like a standard environment, right? So if you're unable to do that, 
um, then all of a sudden you're just going to lose. And it's, and it's a lot harder to do because you can't go around the planeswalkers in this cube like you could in like something that, like the vintage cube. Yeah, I think we have this game now. Well, you never know, Michael. You never know. Just going to keep gaining three. This guy's got Vigilance, too. That's wild. I want to play this guy, but like now they have a significant counterspell opportunity. So I guess I'll just attack for three. Again, if we could avoid insulting people, that would be great. Yeah, guys, please, please, let's not, let's not talk about, uh, let's please not be insulting. Like, also, oh, oh, right on. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. So, like, I just don't even want to play this because, like, <clears throat> there's no real, like, amount that I can pay for it that makes it worth it. Like, they have four mana for syncopate. I just think we force them to deal with what we have. Which is just a 3-3 three -three right now. Alright, whatever. We'll pass. Sure. I'll block. Oh no, I won't. Oh no. Oh no, this is sad. <sighs> yeah, alright. I don't think you block yet. Well, I wanted to make a 4 4. I was real excited about it. That's, see, that's just impossible to deal with. Like, I can't deal with that. Yeah, that's rough. There are two lands on top, so. Uh, wish I could take Ugin here. That would be cool. Let's take Savannah. No reason to take an extra point of damage here. Although we can win, win mostly on Wolfbire and then put counters on all our things. Stone Cold Serpent blocks for free? Yeah, but we have to have that, so. Correct. Which we currently do not. So, five, six, seven, eight. So, a multi kicker for four. Nope, that's got to be a great. Okay, it did it anyway. Uh, let's put counters on all our guys. <coughs> Playing the clan boss makes me feel so weak. Yeah, that's super late game. Clan boss, and I think I was supposed to be able to beat it. I mean, like, this is still a decent position, but, like, this guy's really problematic if they have another... I don't <coughs> know. We'll see. I assume you're taking out my Sunwing. Yep. The face you make when your multi kicker is zero. It's not good. I mean, I think they just dream trawler out of Johnny and then resto at Sarah. And I guess that's like the only. This draws us like a lot of cards, though. It's like six cards. Unfortunately, Boat can't kill either of these guys. Be a lot better if it could. Can you show me what's happening here? Okay, so exactly what I said. Cool. Well, 
Cult, uh, John, thanks for hanging out and, and, and responding to the to the cube feedback and the questions. Okay. Dream trawler number two. Yep, seems good. When one is not enough. When one dream trawler is not enough. Hmm. Yeah. That's now they gotta have lifelinks wizards. Yep, that's pretty bad. We got five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go with boat and mouth. Boat doesn't do anything though. Five, six, seven, eight. I just feel like we're never going to be able to deal enough damage. Well, I mean, I'm going to try to. I'm going to hit this, so that if they do choose the block, we lose it. I mean, they have to block here, actually, don't they? Because if they block here, they take 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 12, 13, 14. No, they, they don't have to block there. But now they, they, got a life link. now they do if they want to. If they want to. I guess it doesn't matter. No, they still block a wolf in trade. Make sure I didn't have. Oh, interesting. So no trade. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Get a mouth to feed. Pause this, and we'll just play this. Of course, if they wipe the board now, it's pretty rough. Actually, yeah, they could just kill kill Sarah. Actually, we can block, so that's pretty good. They still have four cards in hand. They go up to five cards. It's pretty rough. We have Sylvan Library and we get to keep Sky Sky Sovereign, which is puts them dead on board, like not if they gain life, I guess. I had this idea that won't go away. If Commander is the most played format magic, doesn't it have the most reasoning reasoning to be included as a format in the Pro Tour? No, because no. it's not it's not a competitive format. It's not a competitive format, right. Like there is the one v one versions on like Magic Online that have different ban lists. But even then like it's no, a pretty silly format. Commander's the most popular format because among non professionals it is the most casual format, and there are the most casual... Those players in Magic are casual kitchen table players by far. Right. So there's no incentive for them to make a, a pro tour for professional Magic players uh, be Commander. It's just not... They're not... Yeah, they'd have to really, like, change the format a bunch for it to even be a thing. And, like, you obviously couldn't do multiple people. That wouldn't make sense either. It'd have to be one of your own. All right, so they're not just snapping off a wrath here. I think we're winning this game, uh, barring them having something unbelievably good. Which means they'll have something unbelievably good, just to be clear. Yeah. Oh, God. If they attack with both, like, it's just... Then we know our, our whole board is getting wiped. Yep. All right, cool. So... Actually, fuck, here's the question, right? Like... Who are they attacking? Sarah and Sarah with both. If they do have Wrath, and we boat, then we lose. The then boat we lose too. the boat. If they don't have Wrath, I think we're just gonna let it go through. Like Sarah's less important than than Sky Sovereign, I think. Yeah, they're just Wrathing for sure. That's really annoying. I guess we could get rid of the Dream Trawler, but I mean, this was gonna be a hell of a a hit. Wait, Legacy isn't on the Pro Tour. That's not a thing they do anymore. Pretty sure, right? I haven't seen... There's, there was, Legacy hasn't been a Pro Tour format in like two decades. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Pro Tours are formats that, that showcase new cards. So they're mostly going to be modern and standard. They might do Pioneer too, right? Yeah, Pioneer is definitely an option for the future. There's barely any legacy events, like even GPs or anything. You also don't want to have a Pro Tour that's cost restrictive or, or card prohibitive, so it's really hard to have 500 Pro Tour competitors go to the Pro Tour with a legacy or a, like a vintage deck or something. Like, it just wouldn't happen. There was a Pro Tour that had a legacy section, but even then that was like five years ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. Wow, I liked that the five year ago Pro Tour was a long time ago, but the four year ago Kaladesh was just really recently. Buddy. That's wild. Time is a square circle. Oh, this is a flat circle. Time is an illusion, Frank. How many play points Team Jabra has? A we million. just ask him. Thank you. The Great Gonzo. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. We're definitely keeping this hand. I mean, if we draw a, a white sword, it's even better. I have 11 plays. So have you ever gone down? Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got Thank the call you. on the Rat Train? <laughs> Roar. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Michael B. I live in the trash can tree. <laughs> Welcome back. You think they'll ever have a vintage MTGO Pro Tour event? No. Remember when LSV won with Gutshot in, like the, in, in the four years ago tour? I do. You know, I do remember that happening. Just like it was yesterday. Yesterday, I got gutshotted out of the game. And then I... Yeah, I uploaded it to my YouTube channel because people, so many people have loved that match that I'm like, now you can just find it on my channel. You could just watch it here. This guy's dead, right? You know what you should do, though? Tell me. Change it to the Never Gonna Give You Up song. I can just... <laughs> oh, man. I can just rickroll people. We're like, never gonna give you up. Never gonna... Let... We don't have any plays. We're not gonna play this guy for three. All right. Well, at least our shit's not getting countered. That's the nice thing, right? Like, I can resolve all of the... Every one of these is going to resolve. <laughs> what a world we live in. Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing, isn't it? Let's go get a Savannah. Savannah. There's been a murder in Savannah. During the pro tour, I really enjoyed your outfit. Did they ask you to dress up for it? Oh, God, no. No, they can't. They can't. No, they can't. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Fuck, I can't think of the word. They can't impose a dress code at the pro tour. Like, that's insane. You'd have 500 different people forced to have different clothes. No, that's just how I dress. <laughs> Yeah, if you watch, there's plenty of people just in, like, hoodies and t-shirts. Oh, dang. Oh, we're... I think we're dead. Oh, boy. Mm, yeah, right. that usually spells danger. Huh? I'm in danger. <sighs> gem palm... Gem palm one time. Heck, they can't even make all magic players shower. Dang. Gem palm... Gem, 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 gem. Oh, that's real good. Oh, I'm liking it. Oh, that's real good. Create a tutu. Well, I think to be fair, at the Pro Tour, I'm pretty sure most of those players probably shower. I don't think you have to worry about that at the Pro Tour. Let's attack Domri. I actually should have activated this, too. I, I, I forgot Domri was at three instead of two, so. If it isn't the decider. Katie, my love, how are you? The Pro Tour PR people come in. Franklin Laporowitz? No, no, no. You're Frank Lapore now. <laughs> it's been tracking better in the polls. Oh, look. They are playing blue. Well, the counter spells are just too good, right? Oh, this guy's rioting. Oh, they came in to play tapped. 
Thank that's, you. That's nice. Oh, that's a thing that I like. I guess. Oh, goodness gracious. You can put a creature from your hand on the battlefield. If yeah, this would die. They're just going to do in response. Oh, actually, <coughs> this guy's not. Arctic Avenger with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. How was cutting off a foot? Jesus. No, she was she was reattaching the foot, Samuel. The opposite. It's similar but different. Very different. Shut up and take my money. Am I taking someone's money? The start have aligned. All the pieces are in place. This is <laughs> the stars have aligned. Oh, at the beginning of the next draft, if Katie is still here, we can do story time. Oh, we should order that food, man. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, give me a pad thai. Just message me. It's like I'll mess it up. I think I want a green curry. I won't stop you. Thank you. How is it? It's real fucking good. Hmm. Green I'll curry. Try. Maybe I'll pad see you because the green curry is sweet. Green curry pad see you. Tofu on both. Both them. Tofum on Bofum. I'm going to get this ordered real quick. All right. Are you going to leave to do it? What? You got to leave to do it? Well, it's weird talking on the phone. Hmm. We do it literally constantly. Okay. It's like that's never been an issue. Why, like, all of a sudden, they're like, well, I don't know, man. They're <laughs> like, oh, wait, it's going to go and play tapped. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you ever put cat foot into a dog? <laughs> put that foot inside the dog. What happened? Did they hang up on you? They just didn't answer. Typical. They don't want your business, Michael. Call them up and ask if you have four fat chickens. I saw it. <laughs> cool. Uh oh. Maybe they're closed for Memorial Day. That might be the case. Let me try one more time. If they don't answer this time, it's probably crap. <sighs> I have no idea why they fucking tanked for 14 minutes on this. It's really frustrating. Yeah, no. They're probably closed. Yeah, you think so? After four calls and no, no, going straight to voicemail. Yeah, me I think too. A good conclusion. A good conclusion. <laughs> Dang it! Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. Cool. Do you have trample? Doesn't even, doesn't matter. I think it does, it's vigilance. Yeah. Yep. Cool. <sighs> it's just mini hoof. What are you going to do? I would say Indian, but they close at 8.30, so. <coughs> I got a fever. Uh, What's that Indian place called? Fuck, I can't think of the name, dude. Is it something kitchen? No, it ain't kitchen. You order them there all the time, man. I haven't ordered in a while. I can't think of the name. Tandoori oven. That's it. Yeah. Kitchen oven. It was pretty close. Oh, they close at nine. Call them up. See what time they close. Unless you don't want Indian. You don't want Indian, do you? Now you're being a little, you're being a little bitch, aren't you? Really? Wow. What do you want, man? You want pizza again? I just want Little Caesars every day of my life. <laughs> I don't know, like, 
I just feel like every time I get there, like I get the same thing, and that's your who's thought who's making you do that. Every time I go to this restaurant, I just get the same thing, so I don't want to go there anymore. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever well, heard. Also, like the non, like whenever you get it to go, like the non just isn't. It's not as great. What? It's deli. Like it doesn't taste bad, but it's not like, crispy, and I don't know. I can still order for you. No, man, don't fuck. Don't worry about it. Don't hurt yourself, okay? <laughs> Let me look at their menu. Maybe I'll change my mind. You said Indian restaurant. You don't know what they got? I'm just gonna look. All right, it can't hurt. I don't. No one. We never get the five dollar pizza from Little Caesars. That's we, bad value. You get the deep dish. It's it's so it's it's night and day. I got a fever of a Michael B. I'm just ramming growing because I don't want the cards that are on the table. is now open. Where? At Tandoria. Fuck that, dude. Oh, boy. I mean, in a way, I can't blame businesses because, like... Yes, I can. <laughs> I definitely can. Hey, they kind of have fried rice. I've never had it. They do? Yeah, this stuff. Huh. I loved all five dollar bits. It's fine for five bucks. It's a good deal. Biryani? I'm probably saying that wrong. It's not there's no way it's biryani. B R B I R Y A N I. That sounds about right. Does anyone know about the fried rice like dish at Indian place? Badger, or? the Thai place was not open, unfortunately. Check it and see. Where are the lands in my deck today? Biryani is yummy. You'd like it, Mike? Maybe you would. You said biryani, right? Oh, it's tasty. I got two tasties from Katie and RPG Badger. All right, I'll trust it. I'll try it out. It's also kind of cheap. How much is cheap? Ten bones. That's cheap? Well, it's like a dollar less than the other dishes. But that's isn't it just fried rice? Yeah. So what? Good fried rice is usually about 10 bucks, even from Thai places. Yeah, that's like two pizzas or an entire, like, that's like a meal and a half from, like, a, any other restaurant. I don't know. This is, I think that's why I don't get fried rice, because it's just like, I, I definitely don't need uh, to be spending $10 on rice, especially because it'll be, it'll be Mike's second meal. Well, I'd rather order something I want, like, just because the value is better in the masala or whatever doesn't mean it's what I want. No, I'm saying you're going to get that and you're going to get something else. You're never just going to get biryani. You don't know me. Yes, I do. Well, I was thinking about maybe getting a samosa with it. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's only like four bucks. The large fried rice of the place I go to is always great and it's five fifty. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't think fried rice should be $10. Like, that just seems excessive. Because it's not, I don't think it's an entree, but, oh, did they forget this has? Or, or did they just... The 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 Gotham's on Stone Coil when people forget that it has reach is just so is so good. But I mean, I guess they have Firebolt, so I guess we two for one. But I got a fever like Michael B. Chicken tikka biryani. Now you're now you're just saying now you're just saying random words. I'm getting it. All right, no, what do we want? What do you want? I know what we want. What do you want? No, I know what I want. What do you want? I, I know what you said. I heard you. You just want the chicken tikka masala. No, I never no, get... You want the, the paneer tikka masala. There you go. With garlic naan, right? That's it? Yeah. Okay. It's 8.12. If they close at 8.30, though, don't, like... <coughs> it says they close at 9.30. Right, it says that, but... I'll call them ask. All right. Hi, how late are you guys open till?
Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let me place a pickup order, please. Uh, yeah, Mike, and it's seven two seven two four four six eight two six. Uh, can I get an order of the chicken tikka biryani? Uh, medium's good. And let me get an order of the vegetable samosa. And then let me get an order of a garlic naan. And uh, one second. I can't think of the name of the cheese. Paneer. And an order of paneer tikka masala. Medium, yes. And that's everything. Yes. 30 minutes? Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> I feel like Affinity is single-handedly just uh, keeping the chat commands alive, dude. Alright, so I'll leave in about 20 minutes. So what, you want me to put a timer for you? I'll do it anyway. So I should leave at 35. Okay, so... Oh, look, now you have Mike Digits as a command, and then it's got your phone number <laughs> on there. I don't know what to do here. Well, I've already given out so many times, so why not? Medium all around, no one is getting hot. You're training with the last dub, Mike. Yeah, I just don't... I've had s some stomach issues today, so I'm not gonna... This guy's gotta go, right? One, three, four, five. They're just not even close to casting it. But I don't want to use Council's Judgment when Wicked Wolf does the job, but I also can't, like, do anything with Wicked Wolf. I just wish there were more ways to make food in the cube. Took it up. But I get what you're saying, though. Because now this is literally just a removal spell. Uh, that's not actually Rotus. That is the champion of Rotus. Thank you very much. Rony boy. Are you okay? Are you having mic issues? I'm just adjusting it, man. Say, say that again? Just adjusting it. You need thinking. To... Yeah, okay, but say, say what you were saying again. Adjusting it. Okay, but say it the never mind, just forget it. I don't know what you I don't know what you mean. Look, it's not you're not close enough. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. That's weird. Usually if I'm this far it'll still wait, it's working now. Blah 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 blah. It's weird. You sound lower for some reason. <coughs> Raise your gain a little bit. I don't even know what gain means. Cause it's not technically volume, right? No. Explain it to me. No. Oh, man. Okay, so they're just going to make a million... They just have a million ways to put their, their guy into play. <laughs> because he's becoming a man. Cast oh. him as a man. No. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Food. Food here. Was somebody looking for me? I was. I think we found you, food. So it was funny because I was like, I just need one land so that I can play a Johnny and Council's Judgment here. But instead, Magic was like, no, nah, you dumb. You're playing a dangerous game. Will Katie be able to stay awake long enough for story time? Hot blooded, you and see. And they just get this guy back in two turns. <coughs> or they can just get it yeah, like next turn, I guess. I don't even so know. Is it an exile? Yes, but that's not how Raise War works. Oh, it also counts into exile. Gotcha. Good night, Sam. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Land. Land here with somebody looking for me. <laughs> Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Oh, Lord. These meme donations are peak value. I agree. <coughs> I 
this guy and this guy. Put him into play today. Now we got a host. Yep, get another raise bore. You got it. Just mono raise bores. More like raise borts. Thank you. Odysseus, welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you, dude. Man, Canadians are too pure for this world. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight. What if we do double, double pumps here? Shut up and take my money. Oh, I went to bed. Good food. I went to bed an hour ago. So if you want me to get bent, wow, God. So we'd have three attackers. They block here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's. You can go back, and I'll pay to keep you. Play in my land. Play in my Johnny Greatheart. Play in a Gidgeon. Let's give all the Planeswalkers loyalty. Then they'll actually live, which is nice. And then we'll make an emblem. And then we're gonna... We're gonna bash. Baby's bashing. Baby's bashing? Yeah, you don't know about Baby's bashing? Baby Sebastian? Who's Baby Sebastian? <laughs> Are you talking about Lil Sebastian? Yeah. That's not the same at all, Michael. Bye, bye, Baby Sebastian. Hmm. Well. <coughs> My sentiments. We could be happy to have you, Moochula and Mean Mugger, before we build the wall. Temporal isolation seems great here. <laughs> Canadians are never building the wall, man. You That's guys nice are too wholesome. It. Like, if you guys didn't build a wall when Gilead was formed in Handmaid's Tale, there's no way you're building it now. If you didn't build a wall in an in a alternate reality that doesn't exist as a TV show. Exactly. <laughs> Take out Micaeus. I think boat's just good. Do story time now? We gotta wait till after the match. No, dude, I'm not gonna do story time in the middle of a stream. I always do it in the beginning. Kerwick, calm down. God, he's getting real. He's getting real anxious. Hi, bye, little. Mouse son. rat needs to do a show live on the rat train. Wow. We don't build walls. We build hockey dynasty. It's true. No, I will not calm down. <laughs> I'm just 5,000 candles in the wind. <coughs> oh, kitty man. There's a little kitty man there. He finally quieted down. Yeah, I think he's feeling better. I'll keep this hand. We got a once upon a time to find our, our sweetie boy. Our sweetie boy. You know. You know the one. Mike, I'm building a wall around your property and baby Sebastian is going to pay for it. Wow. <laughs> nah. Shut up and take my money. Some guy donated a dollar. I heard you were reading the Mike B story today. Oh, man. really disconcerting uh-huh i cannot believe you've done this 
How are you going to build the wall around a trash can and a tree under the sea? <laughs> exactly. I'm like... I feel like I'm missing something, you know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> like, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Boy, I know. Um, but in one way, it actually doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Um, boy, you sure got a pretty mouth to feed. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Mike B, please read my story. <laughs> Gee, who uh, could that be from? Call to Cube, thanks for hanging out, man. Really appreciate it. I will see you soon. Shut Wait, up that doesn't maybe not. Money. Maybe I will? I don't know, we'll see. Baby Sebastian, I ain't paying for no walls. <laughs> oh my god. What's happening right Epic. now? We're just 5,000 Michael B's in the wind. Land. I guess that's fine. That's all you're going to get, man. I mean, based on this hand, I'm actually kind of okay with that. Shut up and take my money. Oh. Not a fake user. I think there's more than one of us doing this. <laughs> you know, maybe. <coughs> oh. The old amulato. You know the mulato? You know the amulato? I mean, I'm getting rid of it. What are you going to do? What have you done for your country, Michael? You think exiling a magic card in a, in a game of magic helps your country? I do. Why? Because that's the way we wrote the Constitution, Michael. No, no. No, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> There's literally nothing about that in the Constitution. Michael. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Shut up and take my money. What's happening? Mr. Twerch? Hello, good fellows. Just talking about for some stimulating tales of Michael B. I don't know who that... I don't know what that is. I don't know who that person is. The Constitution can be amended to including exile and magic cards. Wow. Yeah, Michael. You don't know anything about... Just because you can't doesn't mean it has been, Okay. You're gonna kill my bird? How rude. That is the rudest thing. Uh, how do I... What? No. Not, not. 100% not. Snap not. <laughs> what a 
wicked wolf to do. They have two cards. Eh, that's not. That's not terrible. I think we're just gonna make some, make some elephants, some tusky boys. <coughs> tusky boys, you feel so nice. Tusky boys, you like that song? Sorry, right. just kidding. I don't care if you like it. Rude. Look away, Franklin. I'm just like I'm I'm kinda like hoping I'm missing something. Yeah, me too. Affinity with another clip to add. Well, son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. I was eating biscuits the other day and I didn't know how to eat them because it was raw. Because it was raw? <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? I didn't have a strong ending there, okay? Well, son of a biscuit. How do you find that? <laughs> I don't know. Because it was raw. Because <laughs> it was raw? Alright, this dude's just dead, right? He can go to one. I guess. Can you fight an opponent? No. That was when Mike had a ghost body. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. What? What? We, the Constitution, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all cards are created equal and they're endowed with inf inalienable rights from their creators amongst those... Oh, fuck. <laughs> you guys need to make your messages shorter. <coughs> <coughs> Can you shut up? No. I know. This breaks my heart every time. And mono 3-3s. Three How can they win? I will kick one time. Wait, no, I can't. Yes, I can. I can kick one time. So much kicking. <laughs> Why is the bad man yelling at his son? Wow. Michael, tell us <coughs> about the biscuits that you ate. I can't, man. Oh, 2-1 with the Badger Elf Stipulation deck. I Unfortunately, we did happen to win more with elephants and rhinos than elves themselves, but the elves were an integral part of the deck. Badger, thank you so much for everything, buddy. You are an awesome, awesome supporter and friend, and I appreciate you. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankleport, patreon.com slash frankleport, manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com. All those links and promos are down below in the description. Be sure to check those guys out. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.